Hi, kids. Welcome back. Today is week 17, day five. Congratulations. We made it another week. Our highlight verse today is 2 Samuel 12, 7 through 9. Let's look at the King James Version first. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord, God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. And I gave thee thy master's house, and thy master's wives into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things. Wherefore hast thou despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite with the sword, and hast taken his wife to be thy wife, and hast slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. 2 Samuel 12, 7-9, the NIRV version. Then Nathan said to David, You are the man. The Lord, the God of Israel, says, I anointed you king over Israel. I saved you from Saul. I gave you everything that belonged to your master Saul. I even put his wives into your arms. I made you king over all the people of Israel and Judah. And if all of that had not been enough for you, I would have given you even more. Why did you turn your back on what I told you to do? You did what is evil in my sight. You made sure that Uriah the Hittite would be killed in battle. You took his wife to be your own. You let the men of Ammon kill him with their swords. That's sad, isn't it? That David was so much in the good graces of God. He was doing um, good things. God loved him truly. And then David let him down. He let him down because he disobeyed him and it made God sad. It says here in the explained section that David had sinned against God. David sinned and even had a person killed to help cover up his sin. So he not only sinned against God, he made a worse sin. He murdered on top of that. So while well, he had someone else murder, right? But that's just like he did it himself. So the prophet Nathan used a parable or story to explain to David how he sinned. So the Lord talked to Nathan and told him to say this to David. God punished David for his sin, but God also forgave David. So we are able to go to God and tell him we're sorry when we've made a mistake or when we've made a sin, we can go to God and tell him that we're sorry. We did wrong. We know we did wrong. And um, he will forgive us. He is good to forgive us. We still have punishment though. So <laughs> I think you can recognize that even when you say sorry to your parents, they still have a punishment for you. Sometimes they go lighter on the punishment or they take it away early but there's still usually a punishment so david chose to disobey god and using a story the prophet nathan explained to david that he had done wrong to a good man and david understood his sin and was sorry god forgave david but david still had to suffer for his sin so how do we apply that to our life it says here, Jesus paid the full punishment for our sin so we can be forgiven. So if you understand that Jesus was our sacrifice, he died for us because of our sins, not because of anything he did. It wasn't his sins. It was our sins. He died for us. Now, we weren't born then, right? So that means he died for our future sins as well. So whatever we've done before, whatever we're doing now, whatever we do in the past, Jesus died for all of those. But that doesn't mean we go on sinning. 
because like it says, we will still suffer for our sins. And because of what Jesus did for us, we don't want to sin again. We don't want to hurt God, sin against God. We want to please him. And the more we know about our God, the more we'll want to please him and not sin. So it says, use the jumbled words to help recall Psalm 5110. Then write the verse. So there's a picture I'll show up on the screen. And you can use these words to write out the correct version of Psalm 5110. Let's respond in prayer. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for paying the ultimate price for my sin so I can be forgiven. I love you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. Psalm 5110, King James Version. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 5110. And now for the NIRV version. Psalm 5110, NIRV. God, create a pure heart in me. Give me a new spirit that is faithful to you. Psalm 5110. And let us give thanks for the word of the Lord. Amen. Great job. Have a great day. See you next time.